What's up everyone, this is Velarde, and I wanted to give you guys some tips on the compression, on basically how I use it. If you guys didn't watch my first video, I highly recommend that you watch that one after this. I'll put it at the end of this video. So when it comes to compression, I was saying bring up Fruity Limiter, and uh, you could just raise the gain. Now, I recommend using this on the instruments when the beat is playing. Make sure you do it when you have everything playing, the melody and everything. Because if you do it with like one instrument and all the other instruments muted, it's not really going with the beat. So I don't recommend that. And you also don't want to like put the gain too much up because it'll over compress. Your 808s or your sounds will sound squished. If you're really trying to go for like making stuff loud, I recommend using the limiter and um, you know just pushing the gain up. You can change the ceiling if you want. That just means so that if you wanted to stop and have a ceiling, a cap at say negative one, um, you can do this and check the hint panel over there and it'll, um, you can put it at negative one, which means that it won't, everything will stop at negative one in the master fader in the mixer. So if you want to do that, I recommend putting a limiter or getting other things. Uh, you can, compression is cool though. Um, compression is cool. I just recommend doing it when you have all the rest of the components, like your melodies and everything else playing while you're doing it. All right. Thank you guys. I'll see you on the next video.